hi everyone today in this video let us discuss about the progestogens progestogens are the one type of hormones which can be used in the two different situations within the woman after the fertilization of the egg progestogens can decrease the ovulation as well as they can produce a relaxation of the uterine which can preserve the fertilized egg that's why these progestogens can be given in the first trimester of pregnancy in order to preserve the pregnancy on the other hand these hormones can also be given to prevent the pregnancy so these progestogens when they are given before the fertilization they can alter the endometrial lining as well as they can increase the cervical mucus thickness which prevent the interaction of this uh, sperm with the egg which prevents the fertilization of the egg so that's why these progestogens can also be given as oral contraceptives either they are used alone or they can be combined with the estrogens in this way progestogens play a quite opposite role before and after the fertilization so today in this video let us see what are the different types of progestogens what are the structural features and structural activity relations and how these structural modifications can bring few of the favorable actions in the progestogens so let us see the structural features so this is a ring system that is present in the progestogens and one of the natural progestins is the progesterone so let us see the features of this progesterone so we can start the number here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 
So this is the other structure which is a norethysterone acetate. This is the same structure of the norethysterone with an extra estyl group at the 17th position. So 17th position estate group. You can observe here the estyl group is present. So estate group at the 17th position results in the prolonged duration of action. So norethysterone estate is having the long duration of action compared with the norethysterone. And again, this is having the androstenucleus. nucleus. So what are the structural modifications? Just we have seen all these three structural modifications. 17 ethanyl substitution, removal of the methyl group at the 19th position and distillation at the 17th position. All these are made upon the androstenucleus. nucleus. So these are the testosterone derivatives having the activity of the progesterone. But now let us see what are the other structural modifications to the progesterone nucleus in order to produce the other synthetic progesterones. Removal of the 19th methyl group. Now here methyl group is removed from the progesterone nucleus. So 17th position alpha configuration and 19th position removal of the methyl group and replacement of the hydrogen results in the drugs which are eight times more active. So one of the progesterone is having the structure like this. So this is nothing but the 19 nor nor indicates the methyl group is removed 19 nor. 14 beta all we have discussed that progesterone is having the 14th position alpha hydrogen but now it is converted into 14 beta similarly 17 alpha normally the side chain is attached by beta configuration at the 17th position but here it is attached by alpha configuration that is the 19 or 14 beta 17 alpha progesterone you can observe here this is a 17th position alpha configuration 19th position hydrogen and 14th position beta configuration so this drug is having the eight times more activity compared with the progesterone. Similarly, esterification at the 17th position. Now at the 17th position, if we are going to esterify, for example, capraid is present at the 17th position, then it results in the drugs which are active like progesterone with the prolonged duration of action. So this is one of the structure. This is nothing but the hydroxy progesterone capraid. So in this structure, 17th position, hydroxyl group is going to be introduced by alpha configuration, which is going to be esterified to form a capriate. So capriate is the ester that is formed by the 5-carbon carboxylic acid which increase the duration of action and 19th position as usual we can observe the methyl group. So that is a hydroxy progesterone capriate. And we can also have another structure that is a gestenerone capriate. This gestenerone capriate is having the 17th position capriate that is ester which results in the activity like the progesterone with the increased duration of action. But in this structure, 19th position, you can observe instead of the methyl group, it is having the hydrogen. So just on our own is a nor derivative. That means it is not having a methyl group at the 19th position. Next one is the sixth position. What happens at the sixth position? Sixth position, if alpha methyl group is going to be substituted, this can prevent the inactivation. So six alpha methyl substitution can decrease the metabolism. Thereby it can increase activity and the drug becomes 100 to 300 times more potent compared with the progesterone. So one of the drug is the well-known drug medroxy progesterone estate. So here you can observe an alpha methyl group is present at the sixth position which inhibits the metabolism thereby the potency increases. Similarly at the sixth position we can observe another modification within the magistral we can observe an extra double bond at the sixth position. So an extra double bond at the sixth position can still reduce the inactivation. So which increase the potency. So magistral is a similar drug to the medroxy progesterone which is having the more potency. Next one is the 13th position. So this is one of the structure well known norgestrel. Normally methyl group is going to be attached at the 13th position which becomes the 18th methyl group. But here it is having an ethyl group attached to the 13th position. So 13th position if ethyl group is present, it results in the drugs which are having the similar activity like the progesterone with better absorption. And here and among these drugs, the levoisomer is more active. So we have one of the drug levonorgestrel. Levonorgestrel is having the more activity compared to the progesterone because it's having a ethyl group at the 13th position. And again the norgestrel you can observe the nucleus is the androstenucleus. nucleus. So this is the derivative of the ethysterone. In the ethysterone 17th position alpha ethanyl group is there. And along with this alpha ethanyl group at the 17th position in the norgestrel 13th position ethyl group is present. So this levonorgestrel is more active than the ethysterone. Next is the 11th position. 
so this is one of the structure you can see that at the 11th position a methylene group is present so this is the 11th position we can observe a methylene group and along this 11th methylene group we can also observe the third position ketone group is going to be removed we have already discussed that delta 4 3 q is essential for activity but in this structure the delta 4 is going to be preserved but uh, three keto group is going to be removed so this results in one of the drug disogestrel which is the third generation progesterone which is having more activity compared with the progesterone in this way we have the different types of structural modifications to the progesterones but we can make the structural modifications to the androstenin nucleus otherwise to the pregnenin nucleus any of these can produce the fruitful progesterones so within the androstenin nucleus the important structural modification are incorporation of 17 alpha ethanyl group and removal of the methyl group at the 19th position introduction of the ethyl group at the 13th position and substitution of the methylene group at the 11th position all these are going to result in a fruitful progesterones within the androstenin nucleus similarly in the pregnant nucleus 17th position alpha hydroxy group which is coming to an ester results in the prolonged duration of action and removal of the 19th methyl group increase the activity and 6 alpha methyl group increase the potency by inhibition of the inactivation and an introduction of an extra double bond at the 6th position also increase the activity so these are the fruitful modifications in the pregnant nucleus so that's about the progestogens hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video